Hello guys, welcome back to Jamie Tech. In uh, today's video, we are going to implement Bluetooth connectivity with uh, BLE Manager, right? BLE Core Bluetooth, I mean something like that. Uh, first, we want to show you a demo and here's the demo. Uh, we created a simple application. Uh, the first we get a warning, I mean uh, an alert to turn on the uh, Bluetooth and uh, then we get the most uh, near, I mean any near Bluetooth. I mean look at this, Muhammad's MacBook and it's my MacBook uh, name, right? Uh, Pro, right, this one is being connected. Uh, so that's what we are going to implement in today's video. Uh, though it's uh, been already done, uh, we have to go through the code only. Uh, first, what we have followed is the MVVM architecture. Uh, for example, we have model VV models. Mm, it's quite quite uh, famous in uh, iOS development, especially in any other as well. But specifically in Swift and Swift UI or UIKit, you must follow some I mean proper way to uh, you know structure your code. So what we have followed, we need to have a model for the peripheral and this uh, uh, this is my peripheral with, I mean, every every Bluetooth, I mean, a device will have uh, an ID and name and uh, RSSI, I mean, declare a constant property RSSI of type in used for the single signal strength of the peripheral, okay? So uh, what, what else we, we are going to do is the view model. I mean, we need to create an observable object, uh, observable class. Uh, you know, uh, we need to import this library, the dependency. What we have done is here, the define a class, BL, BLE manager, uh, that conform to NS object, observable and something like that uh, cb central manager delegate and cb peripheral delegate uh, it must confirm to th those okay so what else we have is the my central i mean we must have uh, a, a cb central manager i mean declare a variable for this for the central manager and uh, we need to have an uh, a published variable uh, of boolean type is switch on or off uh, so to track uh, and alert, uh, to track Bluetooth is on or off, and these are some other properties. I mean, we are going through. To, we are we are looping through the per peripherals, and here we are going to connect to the specific UUID, and here we did just a simple uh, all right my, my init method, and uh, we just assign this to this. Uh, initialize the central we just initialize with self delegate and what what we did here um, is uh, quite easy for us uh, i mean delegate method called when the state of the central manager is updated i mean this is being called when the central manager is updated and uh, uh, delegate method when a peripheral is discovered i mean we have discovered some peripheral then this is being called and uh, we have a uh, i mean uh, start scanning and stop scanning these are quite easier and uh, one more things we have function to connect to a peripheral we want to connect to a specific peripheral then these are the uh, i mean code to connect to those specific peripheral and delegate method call when a peripheral is connected when we are successfully connected to any peripheral then we need to call this this one what else we have is here oh gosh we have created a dummy space and here delegate method call when the connection to a peripheral fails i mean if we get failed we are not being successfully connected to the peripheral then we need to call this one uh, and here central manager i mean function another then uh, uh, i mean delegate method will call when a peripheral is disconnected uh, when we want to disconnect from a peripheral then we need to call this one i mean this the quite easier and here what else we have delegate method call when services are discovered on a peripheral if we 
you know want to discover some services uh, on a peripheral then these are the code to go through check if service are discover I trade through the service print the service you ID etc etc and this is the last uh, last last uh, method that we need to call I mean delegate method called when characteristics are discovered for our service okay so this were the uh, functions I mean I will definitely share the code uh, with you people uh, will be available on my github Mm, what else we have is to go for the I mean this is this is my uh, uh, class uh, we need to go through now the uh, UI and here's the UI quite uh, awesome um, here Bluetooth uh, devices we I mean first we get a um, uh, I mean instance of our manager class and uh, we have a title of Bluetooth devices if you saw there here oh gosh first we get an alert right you don't have to forget it and here once you come back I mean this is a big title Bluetooth devices and here the uh, okay a little bit here will be perfect here they uh, we are going through the peripherals I mean uh, to all those who uh, which are near to our device okay uh, to those peripherals and here uh, you know we want to connect to the specific peripheral then we can do that as well and we have simple status I mean status what is the status of the uh, Bluetooth if it is switched on we can say it is switched on if off then it will be shown uh, I mean you know is not switched on I mean we'll get our braid uh, I can uh, our red text okay what else we have is here the I mean two buttons I mean stop scanning start scanning uh, we can stop the scanning we can stop the scanning as well to uh, get some near uh, devices near Bluetooth devices so this was quite um, but one point is there I mean you don't have to run the app on your simulator okay you need to run the app on your real device so that you could trip nearby Bluetooth so this was the video I mean these are the uh, uh, I mean methods things tools to go through for the um, Bluetooth connectivity in iOS Swift UI thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe and wait for more content within less time bye bye